Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is Dee and thank you again for tuning in on our another video blog and today I have Mike from Lake Nona Title and he's going to talk about if you are a foreign seller or a foreign buyer, how does it affect you on a transaction if you are looking to buy or looking to sell. So stay tuned. Mike, thank you so much for coming over. So can you tell us a little bit about um, how does this work? So um, what we're talking about and discussing is really FERPTA. FERPTA is an acronym that stands for foreign investment. Uh, it really applies to foreign investors that come into our country and purchase real estate. Uh, and it's a tax, uh, they call it FERPTA, which is Foreign Investment Property Tax Act. Um, it was brought about in 1980. And it's really the way that an IRS, they don't call, even though it's called a tax, but it's really a withholding uh -huh. for when an investor comes in and wants to sell the property. So when the foreign investor or somebody comes in uh, and wants to purchase, there's really nothing that they have to correspond with. Um, they do want to make sure that they're not buying from another foreign investor that falls under FERPTA. But the real purpose of FERPTA is when that foreign investor goes to sell the property. And so as known a title, most of your title companies uh, don't do FERPTA. We all handle FERPTA, but we bring in a third party company okay. to actually handle because the money has to be withheld from the closing okay. and then sent within 20 days to the IRS. So let me get this right. So what you're saying is if you are looking to buy a property, it doesn't really affect you. However, if you are a foreign seller, because Orlando is such a big market on Correct. people from London, Canada, Australia, people are buying because, hey, we're in Disneyland after all. So they're, they're buying property. So it doesn't affect when you are buying. However, it affects you when you are selling it, correct? Yes, correct. So as of, it's very simple and it's very easy to, to look at the rules as far as that. There are some more technical exceptions to the rule, but the most important one that most people fall under is if you're selling the property um, and they, they increase it after 2016, that 15% of the realized gains or the the sales price as far as that once the actual realized gains is taken from this proceeds and that is sent to the IRS uh, as a more so as a withholding and they hold that money until you submit uh, tax returns or actual statements to show how much the true tax implication was for that foreign investor now there are an exception which is where a lot of people kind of bypass the FERPTA rule. And the most important exception that everybody realizes is as long as that property purchased or, or being sold by a foreign investor is used as a primary residence, uh -huh. then at that particular time, and they're used as a primary residence, they can bypass uh, the FERPTA uh, regulation. So, it, so it's, it's basically for anybody who A, has to have gains on the property in order for yep. FIPTA to come in. So if there is not a gain and it's a loss, then it's not a, it doesn't but really come into effect. It won't but come you into have effect, to, but they'll still have to submit. Okay, so they have to submit 15%. So it's going to withhold. So if we are selling a property for 100,000, they're going to hold 15,000 15, until you submit the final paperwork showing if it's a profit or a loss Correct. and so on and so forth. If it was a rental property and you had more expenditures and you show a loss, then okay. you, they'll release that money back to you. Well, fantastic. Well, here you have it. You know, If you have any questions about a foreign buyer or seller, give us a call. We are here to help and serve. And again, thank you for tuning in. And if you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe. There is a little button down here. We'll also include some links to FRIPTA uh, rules and regulations for you to look into. And you can reach me or Mike. Uh, just give us a call. I could be reached at 321-945-7351. Call me or text me. Thank you again for watching this video. And if you have any questions, reach out to us. Thank you. Bye-bye.